Hi, I'm Nick with Hay Needle, and today I'm going to take you through the simple steps of assembling your brand new Magnolia Archwood Arbor. First things first, it's time to open the box. For this, you'll need a trusty box cutter and a smile. I don't know about you, but I go on every time I see this label come in the mail. So, being careful not to cut too deeply into the box, open, lay it down, make sure both sides are cut. When you get this open, it's time to take an inventory by checking all of the parts inside with the parts list and hardware list located on the instructions. So with inventory taken, it's time to move on to step one, which is building the arch. Before we get going on that, it's important to note for this entire process, you'll need a few things that are not included. First are Phillips head or standard head screwdriver, an adjustable crescent wrench, and if you don't have one of those, a number 10 standard crescent wrench. So with these parts you'll need the B or the wood screw, so all 10 of those. Uh, you'll need the D part which is a wooden dowel. You'll need all five and then of course the two C's which are the wooden arches. To get started I'll note just a couple things. Make sure that when you're lining these parts up you see the outside and the inside. Now the outside is going to have this convenient inset for that screw when you screw it all the way in. And of course you can see that inset does not exist on the other side. So with that in mind, you'll simply insert, line the dowel up with the hole, push in, secure, and tighten into place. Once that is secured, you're going to repeat for the other four on this side and then switch over to the next. I just want to make a quick note as I'm securing my last screw here. I had no problem securing these dowels with a screwdriver. I know that some of you will probably want to use an electric drill. I do, however, want to recommend that you do drill a tiny pilot hole into the dowel to prevent warping and cracking. So once this is assembled, it's time to move on to step two, which is putting the arch on top of the lattice. For this, you'll need four of your A pieces. You'll also need your crescent wrench or standard crescent wrench. You'll need your screwdriver and of course your E piece. Now there's also a quick note here. It's purely on preference, but I like to put the smooth side to the outside you'll notice the inside will show the staples that secure the lattice together. So, with those staples up, take your assembled piece, make sure that it lines up properly with the holes. Once you've done a dry fit, take the nut off of the bolt making sure to leave one washer on. Pull this washer off so you have one for each side. Drop the arch in again. Make sure you've lined up the holes. Push through. Washer first. And the bolt. And you can actually get a pretty tight fit with the hand secure. So what I recommend doing is repeating that same step for all four and then coming back and securing with your Phillips head and your crescent wrench. So as we finish up step two, I just want to make a brief note. When you're dealing with pressure set things like this arch into this lattice, it's important to make sure that everything is lined up before you fully secure it. So if you can tell, I've laid it on its edge to make sure that everything is lined up before I secure. Two. Now that the first side is secure, it's time to move on to step three, which is mounting the other side of the lattice. Of course, you'll need the last piece, E, as well as the last four 
A-bolts. Now I've already dry fit this to make sure that it fits properly into my arch so we can just get started. Now again, making sure that the clean side is facing out, we will just slide this into place. A nice tight fit. Take one of your A-bolts, making sure to leave one of those washers on. Drop it into place. Washer first. Hand secure. Repeat for this side. Secure all the way and then flip it over. It's the easiest way to do it. So with the last bolt secured, it's time to find that perfect spot in your garden. Secure the arch, look for your favorite climbing vines, and enjoy.